Hello, hello, hello. It's time to whip some candles and it's time to do your worst. We're talking about Jonathan Morris. Jonathan is one of four whip users in Harmony of the Spirit. Simon Richter and Julius Belmont also use the Vampire Killer. They also share some of the sub weapons with Jonathan. However, they all have abilities that are unique to each of them. Richter has the most in common with Jonathan, but they differ mainly in martial arts. Simon can attack with his whip a lot faster than Jonathan can, and he can also shoot fireballs from his whip. Julius can attack with his whip in upward and diagonal directions. He can also swing from the magnets that Shinoa uses. These are just some of the differences. Jonathan is available in the base game. All the Belmonts are from DLC. So let's get into Jonathan Morris. A fresh Jonathan begins with the Vampire Killer, the Knife, and Guard, which is his personal skill, as well as one of his martial arts. Martial arts can be found in any sort of chest, so it's best just to open every chest you come across because you'll never know what you will get. You start off with Guard. Guard is not 100% block, but it will greatly reduce the damage from many attacks, both physical and magical. As you can see, Jonathan was able to block both of the creature attacks, which is pretty damaging without the block, as well as the blade attacks from Vietnam. The next ability is Danger Knee. Danger Knee is found in Chapter 2 Chest. It is a knee attack. Forward World is found in Chapter 3 Chest. You can use it to get past enemies and bypass some obstacles. The roll is short, so you'll probably take some damage if you're bad at it like I am. Next is Uppercut. This is found in Chapter 4 Chest. It is a rising punch attack that can hit multiple enemies on the way up. The last ability is Sonic Strike. This is found in Chapter 6 Chest. With this, Jonathan rushes through enemies and does damage to them. Let's talk about sub weapons. Jonathan has a variety of sub weapons. As you can see, he has numerous weapons available to him. As these weapons get stronger, the Vampire Killer also gets more attack, so it's very worth leveling them up, especially if you plan on mainly using the whip in martial art combos. Of course, your personal playstyle is up to you. His initial attack starts off pretty weak, but it will gain in strength as his weapons are leveled up. In this example, this top screen is his whip attack when he first began, and this bottom screen is his whip attack on those same enemies with full level 9 sub weapons. All Jonathan sub weapons are found in green and purple chests. Some also drop from boss chests. Others can drop from both chests and certain enemies. Two of his retro weapons can be bought from the shop, while the other two retro weapons drop from the count on normal and hard, or from purple chests in chapter 10 hard. Many of his weapons also change in appearance as they get stronger. Most notably are daggers and axes, as well as some others. Because there are so many places to get his weapons in martial arts, it doesn't take too long to obtain them all. Once you get them all, or the ones you want, it's still best to do survival mode grinding to level them all. Jonathan has a lot of weapons, so be prepared for a huge time investment. I find Jonathan to be overall pretty good. Once fully leveled, he has pretty good defense and attack. Martial arts definitely make up for the lack of damage and flexibility of being the whip user. So there you have it, Jonathan Morris. Have a nice day. If I missed anything, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.